24 hours removed from an eventful arm get an event la knight is back in action as he defends his intercontinental championship against the king of strong style shinsuke nakamura opening us up in moments and coming up in your main event the layover from hell in the cell begins as the street champ solo sokoa is set to take on the celtic warrior sheamus and what should be a barn burner of a main event contest live tonight on raw but ladies and gentlemen it is the 2023 slammy awards here tonight for weeks you the fans have voted casted your vote on who you believe is the men's superstar of the year the women's superstar of the year match of the year tag team of the year and so much more tonight is an acknowledgement of excellence and we are going to begin the revealing of those winners right here right now kicking things off with who you voted as the premium live event of 2023 the slammy award kicking us off goes to survivor series as you can see the three runner-ups as all the premium live events were on the ballot wrestlemania king of the ring and SummerSlam. but survivor series just a few weeks ago toppling your favorite Su survivor series madison square garden your live premiere event of the year and also, before we get into our action tonight, we are going to reveal the 2023 Breakout Star of the Year, Braun Breaker from SmackDown, the Cruiserweight Champion, Ilya Dragunov, LA Knight, your Intercontinental Champion, the Street Champ, Solo Sokoa, your nominees, who is the Breakout Star of the Year, as voted by you, the fans. Let's reveal it right now. The winner of this Slammy Award is the Cruiserweight Champion, Ilya Dragunov, currently your Cruiserweight Champion. Also this year, winning the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament and the Intercontinental title back at WrestleMania. The Mad Dragon himself, Ilya Dragunov, voted the Breakout Star of the Year for the 2023 Slammy Awards by you, the fans. Thank you for casting your vote. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. That is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship! And we kick off this special presentation of Monday Night Raw, the 2023 Slammy Awards, with the Intercontinental Championship on the line. Armageddon last night was one successful evening at Little Caesars Arena in Detroit, but tonight we are emanating from the Grand Rapids. Michigan Van Andalen Arena for what should be an exciting edition of Monday Night Raw as the road to the Royal Rumble kicks off. Seven nights ago, Shinsuke Nakamura picking up a, a victory over the big strong boy, Tyler Bate, in a very exciting contest, and Nakamura being awarded an Intercontinental Championship match tonight. But we didn't know who Nakamura's opponent was gonna be until last night's festivities at Armageddon when LA Knight defeated Cameron Grimes to retain his Intercontinental Championship. What is the condition of LA Knight coming to this matchup? Very exciting contest with Grimes last night. Obviously can't be coming in 100%. Very well may be a case that the challenger tonight is the favorite. The King of Strong Style has been building some momentum for himself on Raw. The win against Tyler Bate last week, Apollo Crews a number of weeks ago. Nakamura has been chasing Intercontinental Gold here and there throughout the year and has had some run-ins with LA Knight dating back to the spring. These two men traded victories all those months ago. Will the result be any different here tonight in Grand Rapids, Michigan? Well, Nakamura looks focused on the task at hand. As a former Intercontinental Champion himself, he wants that gold that is currently around the waist of the Megastar. Wonder how LA Knight's feeling. Maybe feeling a little bit disgruntled that they're coming up short as the breakout star of the year. Second place ain't bad, but the Cruiserweight Champion Ilya Dragunov from SmackDown once again voted by you, the fans, as your 2023 Breakout Superstar of the Year. Also Survivor Series voted by you, the fans, the premium live event of the year. Every single PLE was up on the ballot, but Survivor Series last month in the Garden, your favorite of the year, and boy, oh boy, was it an amazing night. And I have a feeling tonight is going to be another amazing night, another noteworthy night as we near the end of 2023. The Slammy Award edition of Monday Night Raw Intercontinental Championship is on the line, opening us up here tonight in what is going to be a high-profile evening on Monday Night Raw. 
Second defense in 24 hours for LA Knight. Let's send things down to the ring for your official match introductions. Introducing the challenger from Kyoto, Japan. Weighing in at 220 pounds, Shinsuke Nakamura! And his opponent from Hagerstown, Maryland, weighing in at 230 pounds, he is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, LA. Well, both these men riding off victories over the last seven days. Nakamura defeating Tyler Bate last week on Raw. LA Knight defeating Cameron Grimes last night at Armageddon. But who will be the better man tonight? As the prestigious Intercontinental Championship of Monday Night Raw is on the line. So to come in your main event, the street champ Solo Sokoa, the Celtic warrior Sheamus. No way those two men are coming into this contest 100%. We'll see how they fare in your main event. But let's kick things off from Grand Rapids, Michigan. And of course, as we mentioned, as Nakamura was making his way down the aisle, tonight officially begins the road to the Royal Rumble. The Royal Rumble coming your way live Sunday night, January the 7th, 2024, at 5 p.m. Eastern time, four weeks from last night. Cannot wait to get to Las Vegas, Nevada, T-Mobile Arena for the 2024 Royal Rumble, but we got a lot of action on hand tonight and over the next coming weeks. LA Knight starting out this matchup hot. Maybe trying to get this matchup done in a hurry, knowing that he may not be coming into this thing 100%. Remember some of the events of last night, Cameron Grimes really came out hot out of the gate in that Intercontinental Championship matchup. At one point, a reversal at ringside, whether it was accidental or not, sent LA Knight right through the barricade. The very barricade that is in your far left corner is LA Knight trying to get back into this matchup. Regardless of the condition of the champion, he knew a week ago that if, if he was going to get through Cameron Grimes, he was going to have Shinsuke Nakamura waiting in the wind. And that is what we have on hand tonight. And as we mentioned, these two men, no strangers to each other. You go back to earlier this year, Nakamura and LA Knight had a series of matches on Monday Night Raw, one of those being in the first round. As Nakamura gets fired up in Grand Rapids, one of those being in the first round of the King of the Ring tournament, with Shinsuke Nakamura, of course, would defeat LA Knight in that matchup. So very interesting circumstances. History between these two men, who will be the better band with the championship, is on the line tonight. Pendulum of momentum swinging back and forth in the early moments as LA Knight could be looking for a count-out victory here in the early going. Nakamura on the outside, the champion back inside the ring. LA Knight could be desperate for victory here tonight. Nakamura making his way back inside the ring. Might have caught some of the referee on that shot. But LA Knight delivering a firm shot to the jaw of the King of Strong Style. So to come tonight on Monday Night Raw, we will see the debut of NXT's manic superstar Joe Gacy. He is signed to go one-on-one -on -one with Sami Zayn, plus Liv Morgan returning to action for the first time since London, England in October, as she goes one-on-one -on -one with Tiffany Stratton. It'll be an action-packed night, live here in Grand Rapids on Monday Night Raw. Meanwhile, Nakamura taking down the champion in the corner, the challenger hot in pursuit of the Intercontinental title tonight. Nakamura knows what it's like to hold that Intercontinental title. <laughs> Last time he held championship gold was in 2022, and it was the very title that LA Knight holds around his waist nowadays. Nakamura looking to go back to the promised land and become one of the faces of Monday Night Raw all over again. The megastar, however, not looking to let up on his championship desires. LA Knight might have outrun the King of Strong style there, but there's a hangman's neck breaker to completely shift the tides of momentum. LA Knight's got to take advantage though. One move, got to stack up that offense. Nakamura, you see the fatigue off that Hangman's Neckbreaker playing in as he just collapsed down to the corner moments ago. And the champion, not to the delight of Grand Rapids, Michigan, is back in control of this matchup. LA Knight coming up short in the breakout superstar of the year candidate as voted by you, the fans. 
Not looking to come up short twice tonight and leave Grand Rapids empty-handed. On the outside, and LA Knight delivering a high elevation elbow off the apron, down to the ground, and Shinsuke Nakamura is looking worse for wear. The Intercontinental Champion sending his challenger back inside the squared circle where he could be looking for a finish tonight on Monday Night Raw. Into the cover to retain the gold, not just yet, only a one count there. Nakamura's got a lot of fight left in him. Shinsuke Nakamura worked hard to obtain this challenge tonight. An opportunity to become the new Intercontinental Champion. Not looking to see it go by the wayside, but LA Knight, however, the mega star has got different plans. LA Knight won that gold back in July, coincidentally defeating the man who just beat him for the breakout superstar of the year, Ilya Dragunov. LA Knight has retained the gold over Dragunov, over Cedric Alexander, over Sami Zayn, over Cameron Grimes. Will it be the same over Shinsuke Nakamura tonight? Superplex down to the ground. And Nakamura is still into this as Grand Rapids, Michigan is coming unglued for what has been a great contest for the Intercontinental Championship. They named all those names that LA Knight has defeated in his reign thus far, has held the gold since July. Now December the 11th, will Shinsuke Nakamura be the kryptonite to the championship reign of the megastar? If this keeps up, Nakamura's championship desires may be going up in smoke. Not able to get the three count just yet, but he cannot deny the hustle. Stacking the offense is the mega star, but went to the well too many times with that signature elbow drop, and Nakamura did his homework. Shinsuke Nakamura, a veteran of the squared circle, as is LA Knight. Nakamura looking to get back to the promised land. Big time Death Valley driver. And LA Knight on spaghetti legs. Nakamura going for a King Shasa. Knight counters. But Nakamura not looking to let up on that momentum. See it go by the wayside. A nice arm drag by the King of Strong Style. And now LA Knight with a reversal as business begins to pick up in your opening matchup. Nakamura showing some signs of life. Death Valley driver went for the King shots of the exclamation point. Unfortunately, nobody home. And now LA Knight, oh look at this, outrunning his challenger. Or maybe you could even say outsmarting his challenger. Now what does the champion got in mind following his challenger to the outside and another neck breaker. On the ground of Grand Rapids right now, Nakamura may be withering away in this match. Sent right into those diamond plated steel steps. He's gonna feel that one on Tuesday morning. What a great contest. We got kicking us off right now. It's LA Knight sending Nakamura over the barrier. Could be looking again for the count out victory. Nakamura hustling up, making his way back inside. Knight picks the ankles to retain the title. Not just yet, Nakamura, I believe, reached out and grabbed the ropes, or his foot might have caught it. Either way, saved by his surroundings. And Nakamura's got to push the pace right now. LA Knight has controlled the majority of the last few minutes. Well, for a quick cover, it is Shinsuke that time, and LA Knight not done just yet. Shinsuke has got to get into this matchup. Seen some glimmers of hope, but he hasn't been able to keep that momentum. LA Knight tries for a reversal. Nakamura finds him in an opportune state, and this is signature King of Strong Style. The artist formerly known. Oh, wait a minute. Big time. German suplex, the artist known as Shinsuke Nakamura, the rock star that he is. Really trying to mount some offense. LA Knight may be in trouble, but there's another reversal. Overhand shot. Nakamura on the shoulders, could be looking for that burning hammer. And that's gonna do it. Nakamura seeing stars, but Shinsuke is still alive. What a matchup to kick things off here on Monday Night Raw. The frustration starting to kick in for the Intercontinental Champion. A grueling battle last night in Detroit against Cameron Grimes. And now another here tonight in Grand Rapids, Michigan against Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura down, Nakamura out, but is Shinsuke Nakamura have any left to get back in this match? 
Another elbow by Knight. Nakamura sidesteps him. And there's a reversal there. A strike. And this is what Shinsuke's got to do. Go to the well with what works. Go to the well with what brought him to the dance. And Shinsuke going for another cover there. And LA Knight's still into this. Nakamura needs a defining blow if you want to ask me in this matchup. Doesn't have to be the King Shasha. That is a very hard move to perfect and deliver. Shinsuke's got to stack up some offense and hope LA Knight and the action that he competed in last night starts to kept, catch up to him. Nakamura delivering a series of blows right to the dome. This is what Shinsuke's got to do. He's got the champion trying to create some distance. Counter by LA Knight. Another shot. Oh, and a shoulder block over the top rope. Not expecting that maneuver out of LA Knight. Pulling a trick out of the hat right, to, right there. And a look at Knight, air raid crash. He defeated Cameron Grimes with that maneuver last night. But LA Knight looking for the exclamation point, BFT. Oh, wait a minute, Knight, you gotta see that from a mile away. Nakamura's foot under the ropes, and I think LA Knight got a little overzealous that time. The shoulder block, the air raid crash, the BFT, Nakamura right underneath the ropes, and LA Knight not aware of it. Now Shinsuke with a moment to breathe. And LA Knight might have cost himself that time. A flurry by the champion, but now Shinsuke, thanks to the unawareness of Knight, is able to get back into this matchup. Shinsuke might have just found himself the hope that he needs. Obviously fatigued, but climbing to the top, going for an elbow, uncharacteristic of the challenger, and LA Knight now, rolling up Nakamura to steal the victory. Oh, he only got the two. Shinsuke, somehow, someway, in this Intercontinental Championship match. We have got a barn burner on our hands between the King of Strong Style and the Megastar. Waging war over the Intercontinental Championship. Live, Grand Rapids, Michigan, Slammy Award edition of Monday Night Raw. Nakamura just trying to wear down the champion right now. Well, could be looking for another Death Valley driver. And he hits it flush. Directly to the pinfall. Oh, and LA Knight explodes with the kick out. Man, what a matchup kicking things off. We said this was going to be an eventful evening, and that it is thus far. Already Survivor Series in the books as your premium live event of the year. Ilya Dragunov, your breakout superstar of the year. And now LA Knight trying to retain his Intercontinental Championship over Shinsuke Nakamura. And a maneuver like that may bring him to the front promised land. Nakamura leveled on the apron with that DDT. Now back inside the ring as LA Knight is looking to win the race to the finish line. Nakamura got lucky, was able to survive the air raid crash BFT combination by the champion. But not necessarily thriving in there. Surviving is one thing. He's got to get back into this match now or never. I'll tell you what, this may be the most the Megastar has been pushed in his Intercontinental Championship reign thus far. We have seen some classic contests. Him and Ilya Dragunov, him and Sami Zayn. Him and Shinsuke Nakamura tonight, putting on a show in a sold out Grand Rapids, Michigan arena. Nakamura, another reversal, going for the King's Joss, I believe. And even though he did not connect, Nakamura delivering some strong style blows. LA Knight back into the corner as the challenger now, with not too much pep in his step left. That may just cost him. The fatigue may be setting in for the King of Strong Style. A test of endurance right now as LA Knight off the reversal. Classic scoop and a slam by an old school soul. The last of a dying breed, the megastar, LA Knight. Nakamura Day's blood force trauma number two. And that's gonna do it. A great effort, a resilient effort by Shinsuke Nakamura tonight, but the megastar is on top of the world right now. A great contest for the Intercontinental Championship. 
Shinsuke Nakamura, however, has to go back to the drawing board because the championship remains with L.A. Knight. Here is your winner, and still WWE Intercontinental Champion, L.A. Knight. Well, L.A. Knight may be making some of the WWE Universe regret their decision to vote Ilya Dragunov as the breakout superstar of the year. Back-to-back -back victories. Left first against Cameron Grimes last night at Armageddon. Now Shinsuke Nakamura here tonight on Monday Night Raw. The Intercontinental Champion continuing to ride a high as one of the faces of the red brand still holding the gold is the Megastar. The next time we come your way for a live premiere event, we kick off 2024 as the road to WrestleMania begins. Sunday night, January the 7th, we come to you from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada for the 2024 Royal Rumble. What will happen at one of the most anticipated events of the year? A night where 15 Raw and 15 SmackDown superstars battle it out for a chance to main event WrestleMania. Join us live Sunday night, January the 7th, 2024, for the Royal Rumble. The 2023 Slammy Awards continue as we are going to discuss the Tag Team of the Year as voted by you, the fans, the nominees, the Brawling Brutes, DIY, who made an impact in the early part of 2023, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, and the new World Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor and Damian Priest, the Judgment Day. But who's taking home the award? As voted by you, the fans, the Tag Team of 2023, is the new World Tag Team Champions, The Judgment Day. Just last night, winning back the gold for the second time this year, and a new team to 2023. Balor and Priest taking Raw by storm and taking home the Tag Team of the Year award this year. But what about the oh my God moment of the year? Let's take a look at the winner of that bracket as revealed by you, the fans. It is Gunther winning championship gold at Survivor Series. The OMG moment of the year, moments that left us all in shock. Gunther taking home the award. Kevin Owens three to one comeback in there as well. The late great Bray Wyatt gracing us with his presence at SummerSlam. The Rock returning to take on LA Knight. All in the running as nominees, but the ring general Gunther shocked the world at Survivor Series and won the gold. But I'll tell you what, there's another oh my god moment of the year on the way. Possibly that could be the OMG moment of 2024. Let's take a look. The time is now to become part of something bigger than yourself. A force that will change the game. Do I have everybody's attention now? Well, that is huge news, ladies and gentlemen. CM Punk back in the WWE January the 7th, 2024, live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada at the Royal Rumble. And from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv Morgan. Well, we focus in on the action at hand tonight, the 2023 Slammy Award edition of Monday Night Raw. Women's division action on hand as Tiffany Stratton, one of the hottest newcomers to Raw over the last few months, taking on a returning Liv Morgan. The last time we saw Morgan in action, dating back to London, England in October, where she defeated Blair Davenport. And unbeknownst to a lot of us, Liv has been on the shelf the last number of weeks, nursing some injuries from that match with Blair, but she is back tonight against Tiffany Stratton, looking to make an impact live on Monday Night Raw. 
We are here tonight in Grand Rapids, Michigan, 24 hours removed from our trip to Detroit at Armageddon. And what about the events of last night in the Little Caesars Arena? Talking about the Raw Women's Division, the Nightmare Rhea Ripley retaining her WWE Women's Championship against Alba Fire, another one of the bright newcomers of the red brand, put up one hell of a fight, absolutely, but the Eradicator of the Judgment Day just on a different level right now. Now Liv Morgan, Tiffany Stratton going at it tonight, and this could easily be a matchup to climb the ranks of the Raw Women's Division. Liv Morgan, somebody who has held the WWE Women's Championship earlier this year, a bite for just a short reign, but a champion nonetheless. I'm sure Liv, upon her return to the Red Brand tonight, would love to begin climbing the ranks all over again, possibly to challenge the Nightmare Rhea Ripley in the near future. However, Tiffany Stratton, who has been a part of Raw for a couple of months now, still looking for that first-time big victory. Stratton went one-on-one -on -one with Rhea Ripley herself a number of weeks ago and actually pushed the Nightmare quite to a limit. Not necessarily to her limits, but a great showing nonetheless. Stratton, Liv Morgan going one-on-one. -on -one. You want to talk about the Judgment Day, the new World Tag Team Champions last night, and now walking away, as voted by you, the fans, the 2023 Tag Team of the Year. Whether you like Balor and Priest or not, it is cer certainly a deserving accolade. We'll find out later tonight who is going to be the Women's Superstar of the Year, Rhea Ripley on that nominee ballot. Nonetheless, Tiffany Stratton, Liv Morgan battling it out here in a sold-out Grand Rapids, Michigan as the road to the Royal Rumble begins live here tonight. Liv unleashing a couple of chops here, taking down Tiffany with the Luthez. And remember, it was a victory the last time we saw Liv Morgan. Dating back in October on our trip to London, England, victory over Blair Davenport, who made her debut of the Red Brand that night. Liv suffered a couple of minor injuries in that match, unbeknownst what they were, and unbeknownst she even had those injuries. She's been gone for the last six, seven weeks or so, but returning to action tonight, and so far, looking good against a former NXT Women's Champion and Tiffany Stratton. Both these women looking to climb the ranks of the red brand. It's Stratton really giving Liv a run for her money. DDT dead center of the canvas. But it's gonna take a lot more to keep down a former WWE Women's Champion. As a counter by Liv, momentum continues to swing back and forth between these two women as this matchup progresses. Stratton in the corner, not by will, but by force of her opponent tonight. Reversal. Another kick by Liv. Could be going for those double knees right to the jawline. And that may be all she wrote. Knockout blow incoming. Not just yet. Stratton still alive. Credit where it's due, win or loss, Tiffany Stratton continues to impress on Raw thus far, but Liv wants victory tonight. Face first again. And that's gonna be a victory for the returning to action, Liv Morgan. Well, Tiffany Stratton again continues to impress on Monday Night Raw. Gotta give credit where credit's due to the former NXT Women's Champion, but nonetheless, Liv Morgan back in action for the first time in six, seven weeks here on the red brand and picking up a much needed victory here at the Slammy Awards. Here is your winner, Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan, a part of so many great matches and feuds throughout 2023. And speaking of rivalries, it is time to reveal what you, the fans, voted was the 2023 Feud of the Year. Several feuds were on the ballot, but let's take a look at the final four and ultimately who was taking home the award. Certainly a personal struggle, struggle I should say. But who is it gonna be as voted by you, the fans, the feud of the year, the WWE Champion Seth Rollins versus the Celtic Warrior Sheamus. Well, you know what? We called this feud the feud of the year many times throughout their battles, and it certainly lives up to the prestige of the award. The wars these two went through throughout 2023 like none other that we've seen before. Mysterio Escobar, Lesnar Owens, Rhodes Theory, all great rivalries as well. Rollins and Sheamus coming in first as your feud of 2023. The next time we come your way for a live premiere event, 
we kick off 2024 as the road to WrestleMania begins. Sunday night, January the 7th, we come to you from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada for the 2024 Royal Rumble. What will happen at one of the most anticipated events of the year? A night where 15 Raw and 15 SmackDown superstars battle it out for a chance to main event WrestleMania. Join us live Sunday night, January the 7th, 2024 for the Royal Rumble. We are back live in Grand Rapids, Michigan for this Slammy Award edition of Monday Night Raw and it is time for a fresh face to reveal themselves on the red brand. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Franklinville, New Jersey, weighing in at 249 pounds, Joe Gacy. Joe Gacy from NXT officially joining Monday Night Raw tonight. And if this entrance isn't telling, he's a very dark, ominous, and sadistic human being between those ropes. There is something extra aggressive about Joe Gacy. He brings a presence to the squared circle. Certainly made an impact in his years at NXT. Felt that he outgrew the black and yellow brand. It was time to spread his wings here on Monday Night Raw. There is just something wrong inside the mind. A couple of screws loose to say the least. Nonetheless, Joe Gacy upon his debut gonna have his hands full with none other than Monday Night Raw's finest, Sami Zayn. And his opponent from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, Sami Sami Zayn back in action here on Monday Night Raw. Remember last week, Zayn made his official return alongside Kevin Owens taking down Solo Sokoa and the WWE Champion Seth Rollins. Sami Zayn was on the shelf for a number of weeks thanks to Solo Sokoa targeting him by default of being the best friend of Kevin Owens. But regardless of that whole situation, I want to talk about Sami Zayn's recent desires for the Intercontinental Championship. Because before that whole situation with Solo, Zayn had his eyes set on LA Knight's Intercontinental Gold. Pushed LA Knight to the limit in Dublin, Ireland on Halloween night on Monday Night Raw. A matchup very much worth going out of your way to watch the replay of. Got to wonder if Sami Zayn and that loss back in Dublin in October, if that still rings in the mind of Sami Zayn, and if he's looking to climb the ranks all over again. Here we go, Joe Gacy, the bell has sounded, and he has not wasted any time, exploding out of the corner with the lariat, and Gacy is all over Sami Zayn. Joe Gacy, been in this business for a long time, damn near over a decade, world-traveled veteran, Really just getting his feet wet here in the WWE over the last few years. And Gacy looking to make an impact upon his Monday Night Raw debut. He's held championships all around the globe, all around the United States. Joe Gacy, very dark, ominous character to say the least. I think he is going to show some of that sadistic side here tonight. Those screws being loose as we mentioned. Gacy willing to put his own body in harm's way to inflict punishment on his own opponent. Gacy, oh my goodness. This man has been hot out of the gate. Foot on the gas pedal, 100 miles an hour since the bell sounded. He is all over Sami Zayn tonight. And you know, one thing we talked about last week and we'll reiterate tonight is Sami was on the shelf for a number of weeks thanks to an attack backstage by Sol Sokoa. Sami obviously cleared by the doctors and good to go, but you gotta wonder if there's any nagging injuries in Sami Zayn. And that was, of course, that attack by Solo a week after the matchup we were just discussing with LA Knight, which certainly was a physical one. All in all, just speculation, but right now, Sami Zayn is looking worse for Weir, regardless of nagging injuries or not. Joe Gacy, this is a very unusual guy, and he is all over Sami Zayn. Physical as all hell since the opening bell. Notice Joe Gacy went inside the ring just to break the count and come back to ringside. 
is getting fired up here on Grand Rapids. Full head of steam and taking Sami Zayn's head off his shoulders again. And he's not letting up. There is not a moment to breathe. Gacy is all over Zayn. And Zayn's got to try anything. Dragon screw to take Joe Gacy down as Sami Zayn desperate to change the tide's momentum in this match. Now into the barricade again. Referees at a count of seven. Gacy breaking the count, and Gacy back to the outside. The hell does this guy got in mind tonight? Monday Night Raw debut, and Joe Gacy certainly looking to make an impact. I think he wants Grand Rapids to remember his name leaving the arena tonight. Sami Zayn is down, and he may be out for good. Not saying Sami Zayn didn't expect a fight tonight, but I don't know if he expected this onslaught by a debuting superstar. Sami finally getting this matchup back inside the ring, but look at Joe Gacy not giving Sami Zayn a moment to breathe all over him tonight. Joe Gacy clearly came in with a, not an A to Z plan, but simply one plan, and that was just run at Sami Zayn like a bull and take out anything in your way. Joe Gacy, obviously the bigger competitor of the two, a little bit stronger. Don't take away the agility of this man. Joe Gacy, very agile inside of that ring. Look at the speed behind Gacy and a hard-hitting shot. Oh, no, going to follow it up with another one in the corner. Sami Zayn, I hate to say it, but has got no answer right now. And he's still alive in this matchup, but for how much longer? Joe Gacy is eating Sami Zayn alive. And this is a very unusual matchup to witness for Sami Zayn. You don't normally see this kind of one-sided fight. But Sami trying to even the score right now. Taking out Gacy, a little bit of separation. Sami knows he's gonna go for a desperation maneuver. Sami on top, going for the cross body. And Gacy catching his opponent. And down to the ground goes Sami Zayn. Man, Joe Gacy, a different kind of animal here tonight as he scales the ropes this time. Oh no, look out below! That elbow right to the heart, and that may be all she wrote. And Sami Zayn again still into this. I don't know, it might be a good idea for Sami Zayn to live to fight another day. I mean, yes, I know who we're talking about. This is a man who was once dubbed the underdog from the underground. Sami Zayn ain't ever gonna give up. It's not his forte. But Joe Gacy is clearly hell-bent on not only victory tonight, but sending a message to the Monday Night Raw locker room. Sami again getting sent to the barricade. You notice that time Sami Zayn was the one who dragged Gacy to the outside. I don't know if that was a good idea based off what we have seen in this match thus far. Joe Gacy fought some of the best of them down at NXT during the NXT Championship reign of Braun Breaker. He stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of the men who was up for Breakout Superstar of the Year earlier tonight. Now Gacy finally making his way to Monday Night Raw, to the main roster, and is not looking to leave without a victory. Only a lasting impression is on the mind. Oh no, and now Gacy going for submission hold here. Look at both arms tracked by Sami Zayn. And Zayn's got nowhere to go. I don't even know if he could tap if he wanted to, because Gacy is looking to squeeze the life out of his opponent. This is not good. Sami Zayn is in trouble. This has been such a lopsided affair tonight on Raw. Oh, look at Sami. Finding somehow a way to slip out from the hold, and Joe Gacy knocked down momentarily. And look at J Joe Gacy just throwing strikes. And there is no second or third gear. Joe Gacy's only got one, and it's full head of steam. But Sami Zayn trying to mount a comeback here. Here we go! Man, there is no personal vendetta between these two men. This is a first-time meeting tonight, but you would think there is a hellacious battle being waged between Gacy and Sami Zayn for months on end, with just based off the events we have seen so far. Gacy hungry to make an impact. Sami Zayn clearly trying to think on the fly and get back into this matchup. Michinuku driver into the cover. 
And Gacy only on one count that time. Joe rolling to the outside, and Sammy going for the two-pace suicida, and nobody home. And that is not good. Sami Zayn just ate the ground of Grand Rapids, Michigan for Monday night dinner. And Joe Gacy is looking to feast on the pickings. Sami Zayn fatigued, Sami Zayn hurt. Joe Gacy, a different beast that Zayn was not expecting on this occasion. I don't even know what to think right now. I expected a fight, don't get me wrong. But as we mentioned, Joe Gacy is a different kind of cat. There are some screws loose inside of that mine, and Gacy is showing why right now. Right on the ass goes Sammy, and now another submission hold. Zayn with nowhere to go. And Sammy Zayn may be on the verge of tapping out and giving up this matchup, and I think that was the best choice for Zayn. Gotta live to fight another day. You're risking injury at this point if you continue to fight. Joe Gacy, I can't believe what we just saw. I'm almost speechless. A victory in his first matchup here. Wait a minute here, wait a minute. Gacy not done making a statement tonight. The victory wasn't enough. Joe Gacy beating down on Sami Zayn. An impact certainly made. A lasting impression by Joe Gacy and a shocking display of offense in his Monday Night Raw debut. The time is now to become part of something bigger than yourself. A force that will change the game. Do I have everybody's Everybody attention now? now? There's nothing I could say. Nothing I can say What has been a noteworthy evening here in Grand Rapids for the 2023 Slammy Awards. And several awards already given out tonight. And we once again want to thank you, the fans, for casting your vote for the last couple of weeks, having your voice heard. But it's time to decide who you chose for the match of the year. Which contest took you by storm and is worthy of the match of the year award. As voted by you, the fans, the winner is... Drew McIntyre versus Gunther from last month at Survivor Series. One of the most shocking displays by Gunther on that night, tearing apart McIntyre, winning the world championship. Gunther's performance at Survivor Series clearly made some waves throughout the WWE. Cody Rhodes and Gunther coming in second place. Ilya Dragunov, Johnny Gargano in third. Team Cross, Team Sheamus from Survivor Series in fourth. And of course, other matches were on the ballot as well. But Gunther and McIntyre, your 2023 match of the year. And up next, the women's superstar of the year. It feels like the Annie just got up. This is a big time award to give out. The Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. The man, Becky Lynch, the WWE Women's Champion, the Nightmare, Rhea Ripley, and SmackDown's Women's World Champion, Shayna Baszler, all had great years, but who is taking home the Slammy Award? And the winner is... The Nightmare, Rhea Ripley. So first, the Judgment Day, bring home Tag Team of the Year, and now the current WWE Women's Champion, who earlier this year was Mrs. Money in the Bank, Rhea Ripley, voted by you, the fans, the 2023 Women's Superstar of the Year. Whether you like Ripley or not, it is certainly a deserving award for the Eradicator. Well, there is one more award to give out, and that is the 2023 Men's Superstar of the Year Award. The candidates, the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes, the Scottish Warrior Drew McIntyre, the current World Heavyweight Champion, the Ring General Gunther, who has raked in awards tonight, and the WWE Champion from Raw, Seth freaking Rollins. As voted by you, the fans, your 2023 Men's Superstar of the Year is... The Scottish Warrior, 
Drew McIntyre. McIntyre winning Elimination Chamber in January, winning the main event of WrestleMania and becoming world champion, defending it week in, week out, month after month against newcomers, Hall of Famers, from February at WrestleMania all the way to November at Survivor Series. McIntyre waved the flag of Friday Night SmackDown, and in my opinion, I don't think there is anybody more deserving to be your 2023 Men's Superstar of the Year. Well, ladies and gentlemen, before we get to your main event, let's look towards next week on Monday Night Raw from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. After retaining his WWE Championship inside Hell in the Cell last night, Seth freaking Rollins will be back in action next week in Toronto on Monday Night Raw. And your 2023 Tag Team of the Year, the Judgment Day, returns to the red brand as the new World Tag Team Champions. One half of them, Damian Priest, takes on one half of the New Day, Xavier Woods. A lot of history between those two duos. Set to write another chapter next week in the North. Well, it's been an awesome night here in Grand Rapids, but it is main event time here at the Slammy Awards. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds, Solo Sokoa! Well, how do you think Solo Sokoa is feeling after he has been the cause of a lot of anarchy on the red brand over the last few months from taking out Bobby Lashley, from being a member of the Deadly Games Eliminator, coming up short in that coming up short in the traditional Survivor Series elimination match last month, and then coming up short in Hell in the Cell last night, not even being pinned in the equation, but his pursuit of the WWE Championship, at least for now, coming to a screeching halt. Well, I'm sure the street champ, as well as his opponent, Sheamus, are not anywhere near 100% tonight. Nonetheless, the fight rolls on, and as the road to the Royal Rumble kicks off tonight, you gotta look at this as a huge opportunity for Solo Sokoa, as well as this man, to possibly earn number one contendership for the WWE title. It is fight night in Grand Rapids as the Celtic Warrior enters the room. And his opponent, representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! You gotta wonder what's going through Sheamus' head after all the turmoil between him and Seth Rollins getting the notarization, if you will, that him and Rollins having the 2023 feud of the year, but not necessarily something that Sheamus probably wants to remember. Being put on the shelf throughout most of the summer by Rollins, coming up short to Rollins not once but twice, now add in last night, make it a third, Sheamus has got to be fired up more ways than one. This is going to be a very interesting main event here at the Slammy Award edition of Monday Night Raw. And here we go, Solo and Sheamus and hide out of the gate. Sheamus trying to charge the street champ. Solo with a Samoan drop. I expect these two men to go pedal to the metal and try to get this thing done in a hurry. Mostly based off the fact that, as we mentioned, neither one of them can be 100% coming out of Hell in a Cell last night in Detroit. And again, next week, ladies and gentlemen, we will be in the North, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Canadian Tour kicks off this Friday night on SmackDown over the next couple of weeks on our road to the Royal Rumble. Next week in Toronto, the WWE Champion Seth freaking Rollins will be live and in action on Monday Night Raw. Got to wonder who is going to step up next to fight Rollins for the WWE title at the Royal Rumble in Las Vegas. Could very well be one of these two men looking to enter 2024 in a number of weeks on a high note. So Sato has suffered some big time recent losses. Talked about the most notable ones as he was making his way down the aisle. But what about last week on Raw? Him and Seth Rollins forced a team against Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Did not go the way of the street champ. Week prior to that, Solo one-on-one -on -one with the prize fighter Kevin Owens, coming up short in that matchup as well. Solo Sokoa in need of a victory tonight, in my personal opinion. Meanwhile, the Celtic warrior Sheamus, you know, we talked about how that feud of the year being recognized between him and Seth Rollins getting that Slammy Award earlier tonight might have 
fired up. Sheamus might have had him feeling a little bit disgruntled, but maybe use that frustration as some added motivation. Get through Solo Sokoa tonight, and maybe there's another chapter to be written between the Street Chair, or excuse me, between the Celtic Warrior and the Visionary. All remains to be seen as to what's going to happen next on Monday Night Raw on the road to the Royal Rumble. Solo going for the cover off the headbutt. Will that do it? Not just yet. It's been an awesome night here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Monday Night Raw Slammy Award Edition. Want to thank you, the fans, once more for casting your vote over the last few weeks. It was an awesome way to be interactive with all of you. The 2023 Slammy Awards, you're getting to have your voice heard. Drew McIntyre taking home Superstar of the Year for the men. Rhea Ripley for the women. Guther and McIntyre, the match of the year, and so many more being recognized throughout tonight. I want to thank you once more for being a part of the 2023 Slammy Awards. Thank you for joining us thus far. What has been a great night of action here on Monday Night Raw. What about that intercontinental title clash that kicked things off tonight between the megastar LA Knight and Shinsuke Nakamura? Gotta wonder who is going to be next to step up to LA Knight for the intercontinental championship. Nonetheless, this fight getting taken to the outside. Solo Sokoa with a nice reversal on Sheamus that time. You know, we even talked about as these two men were battling inside Hell in a Cell last night that this was going to be a one-on-one -on -one match to see in the near future. And we don't have to wait long as they are going at it right now in your main event. And wait a minute. Wait just a hook. Wait. Solo Sokoa clearing off the announce table. I don't know what Solo's got in mind after the carnage of Hell in a Cell. Solo better bring a halt to some of those ultra-violent thoughts. Sheamus not interested in Solo Sokoa's admiration of the announce table. Looking to keep this fight in between the ropes and hopefully get the job done. Backbreaker! We know what comes next! Bro kick! To win this matchup tonight on Raw! Oh, Solo Sokoa, tough as nails, able to kick out of Sheamus' best blow. Grand Rapids in appreciation of these two heavyweights throwing some Louisville sl sluggers at each other here tonight. However, the bro kick, shockingly, not going to keep down Solo Sokoa just yet. And a reversal by Solo. Pop up. Samoan drop. These guys are throwing live rounds. And that may be all she wrote. Into the cover. And Sheamus is now in this matchup still. Back and forth with some heavy bombs, but both of them survive. A heavyweight clash, a barn burner, if you will. Between the Celtic Warrior and the Street Champ. Some Monday Night Raw momentum as we leave 2023 in near weeks and head towards the Royal Rumble on the line. Sheamus rolling to the outside. The street champ, Solo Sokoa, eyeing up the Celtic Warrior. Sheamus just had to roll to the outside, I think. After that Samoan drop, the life might have been knocked out of the Celtic Warrior. We still don't know the condition of these two superstars coming out of hell in the cell. Sheamus, oh my goodness! Belly to belly on the floor. And I'll tell you what, after those kicks moments ago, that belly to belly, the Samoan drop, Sheamus might be feeling it in the rib cage, if anything, right now. The man can't breathe, he can't fight, and Sol Sokoa is looking to take out the midsection, at least momentarily, of the Celtic Warrior. Sheamus not where he wants to be, luckily able to reverse that. Sol Sokoa, God only knows what he had in mind. Trying to hoist up the big man. However, Solo with the reversal and take it out the knee. I don't know what Solo Sokoa has got in mind. The wheels are spinning at ringside. Down out victory, or maybe not. Solo Sokoa might have been watching the monitors. He watched Joe Gacy pick apart Sami Zayn. I'm still shocked at the events that happened moments ago. I mean, an impressive debut for Gacy. He didn't need the beat down after the match, but I digress. Interesting situation developing there. Now Solo Sokoa back to the outside. Sheamus right into the barricade. And again, those ribs of the Celtic Warrior may be starting to fire up in this matchup and not in a good way. Now sent to those steel steps. Sheamus down at ringside. Solo breaks the count again. And remember this announce table that was cleared off moments ago by the street champ. 
I don't know what Solo's got in mind, but the enforcer of Monday Night Raw, his wheels are spinning, and he's got Sheamus not in a state that he wants to be in right now. Oh, come on now. This is going a little bit too far, especially after Hell in a Cell last night. Solo, you don't need to do this. Sheamus is on the announce table. Solo. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Samoan splash through the announce table. Oh my God. The street champ laying waste to the Celtic warrior here tonight on Raw. That is not going well for the Celtic warrior. And you see whatever adrenaline, whatever is left in Sheamus, trying to will him on, but Solo popping to his feet like an animal and targeting the Celtic warrior. And another belly to belly suplex. And Sheamus cannot be feeling so hot after that Samoa drop through the announce table. Oh no, Samoan spike. And a cover by Solo. And Sheamus kicks out. Sheamus is still in here. You gotta be kidding me right now. Oh, and Solo is fired up. Solo Sokoa has had enough of victory avoiding him as of late. He is coming unglued against the Celtic Warrior tonight. He is out to make a mission statement. And Sheamus is in trouble. It might have been in Sheamus' best interest to just let Solo get the victory moments ago because the Celtic Warrior is not 100%. This brawling brute's gonna keep fighting until he hears a bell and Solo Sokoa has no problem inflicting more punishment on an already weakened warrior. Solo now. Somehow Seamus is trying to fight in this matchup. Credit where credit's due, the Celtic warrior surviving, certainly not thriving. Solo Sokoa, like a shark that smells blood in infested waters. Sheamus is down and Sheamus is hurt. Samoan splash through the announce table. Samoan spike and now Solo on top for another Samoan splash, this time on the canvas. Please stay down, Sheamus. Thank goodness this one's over. That was a eerie meeting as Solo Sokoa fired up tonight and out to make a statement picking apart the Celtic Warrior in the back half of this match, and certainly a much needed victory for the enforcer of Monday nights. Here is your winner, Solo Sokoa. Like Solo Sokoa or not, that was a statement made right to the Monday Night Raw locker room and possibly directed at the WWE Champion, Seth freaking Rollins. Solo Sokoa ain't here to play games. And the street champ with a much needed victory to, wait a minute, what the hell? The almighty Bobby Lashley. We haven't seen Lashley since London, England in October when he was taken out by Solo Sokoa. Lashley re-emerging out of nowhere and cutting the street champ in half. What does this mean for Monday Night Raw in the foreseeable future? Thank you for joining us. We will see you next week in Toronto. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm around.